Pen and paper are easy to use, yet they have some limitations. Information drawn on paper cannot be moved or scaled, color and shape are invariant, there is a restriction in space, and limited deletion capabilities. Thus, we propose an interface for knowledge creation to make sense of new information, offering lightweight paper-like interaction. According to Q and Furness, there are three essential stages of sense making. First, learning concepts and facts. Second, finding relationships. Third, forming categories and high-level connections. In our use case, the user is at an exhibition. Being there, he meets Tom. Tom is an employee at SAP. The next person he is talking to is Mike. Mike works at an university in the field of visual thinking. So we put a respective tag next to his name. The user already exchanged contact details with Mike so he can connect the respective entry from the address book with the handwriting. After that he can create a category around Mike. He may choose a predefined category. Here the user selects the green one. Remembering the name of the university Mike was working at, the user puts it down. Spontaneously, he remembers that he wanted to put down some notes for follow-ups of the great conversation he had with Tom earlier. In SketchVis, the annotation mode can be used like an overlay to attach notes to existing items. Existing contacts from the address book may be imported right on the canvas. To rearrange and reprioritize information later, for example, when he finds out that Tom is the chief of the other ones um, and they're all working together in a project called Visual Thinking, uh, he can do that really easily with Sketchers. The user creates a customized icon to show that Tom is the boss from the others. The data model instantly keeps track of the hierarchy of the elements. We will explain that later. If we go back into the annotation mode, you can see that the notes we attach to Tom are still attached to Tom, even if we moved him to another place. In respect to the data model, um, it's shown here that a compound element uh, contains every other object which is in that hierarchically, and um, you can see that the string Tom is, consists of the strokes, and uh, that's a category which is including Tom for example, the contact includes the contact and the category, and also includes everything from the address book. You can see. Beyond this use case, we imagine that the user can use information from various sources. So, for example, from messages, emails, the World Wide Web, or databases, or even spoken words or conversations he had with fellow workers or other people. And um, ideas generated from all of these sources can be uh, combined in Sketchwiz, also from your personal notes you take. So Sketchwiz is a powerful and flexible tool for making sense of information. But sooner or later you will have to make a report or structured document out of this. Therefore, the content can be exported and being used in other business or office applications.